Hello, Serge here from the Backyard Driving Range. We have a question, came into the site, and this one comes from Dick Bramman, and he says, Serge, I have been playing with your swing for over a year. I use the neutral grip, and I have mostly eliminated slicing the ball off the tee. I hit most fairways most of the times, a really great improvement over other swings I've used. My question, however, relates to the preloading of the right leg. I use this on the tee with good weight shift results, but it does not work for me on the fairway. I frequently chunk the hit. Question, do you preload on the fairway shots? If so, how do I correct the problem? I don't have the chunk problem if I don't preload, but also don't get the good weight shift. Dick, okay. Well, uh, that's quite a dilemma. All right, but I think I, I think I have a good handle on what's causing the problem here. And I think the key uh, comes to it that you say you hit the ball well off a tee, okay? And, I, and, and so we're going to pull out my plastic tee here, and I'm going to put a ball on it. All right, get out the driver. And set up to hit this driver, and what do you see? The ball is teed up. So it's really easy for me to stand here and make a swing and swing up on the ball. And it's obvious I was swinging up because if you notice, the tee also went with the golf ball. It's over there in the net. Because if you swing up on a tee, you clip it. As you, you clip the tee as it comes up, the tee has a tendency to come out of the ground. Now, not, normally, a lot of people have been told in the past that break a tee when you hit it because that means you've hit down on it. Well, you know the, the number one mantra of the swings of the uh, the peak performance golf swing is is we swing up to the finish. All right, we don't hit down on the ball. The downswing is free. I mean, so why why do we need to put more effort and energy into swinging down? All we need to know is that we have to get to the golf ball. All right, and so when you're swinging down, that's free. Gravity's going to bring it down no matter what. Well, what's not free is from impact on to the to the finish. And if you want to be if you want to keep your swing accelerating and and speeding up through the ball all the way to the finish as best as you can do it. You, if you swing down, now that that motion is done, you have to re-energize and re and, 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 and re-trigger the muscles to now swing up. And so the key is, is that we teach, we teach also that we want to take shallow divots with the peak performance golf swing. I talk about shaving the divots, shaving the grass. The, the club should ricochet off the ground. It should nip it. All right? And so that's why I have no problem hitting off a net. I love off a mat. I love hitting off a mat. Because all I'm ever doing is just is just nipping it. The club's just bouncing off like an airplane coming in for touch and go. So I think the big problem you're having, whether you're trying to hit whether you're trying to hit a, a three wood off the ground or a or a or an iron, is that off the fairway, if you're if you're into the mode of hitting down on the ball and not emphasizing swinging up enough, you can have you can still have problems hitting the ball because of the fact that if you're preloaded heavy right and you're hitting down, you're gonna you, you got a tendency to stay back there. But if you're if you're standing here trying to trying to sweep this ball off the ground where this club is just gonna nip it and, and come up in here, even on the wood, you could still stand here. And you could tell that was that was a good solid hit. That 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 all I'm trying to do is is just get here and hit the very just get that ball right in the bottom and nip it and swing it and swing it up on through. And it doesn't matter whether I'm whether I'm all the way down here hitting a sand wedge. Even if I'm hitting a full sand wedge, that 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 I can stand back here and I'm gonna hit the ball. Well I can't hit a full sand wedge here, it's gonna go right over the net. I'll hit a full nine iron. I'm just you can hear that club, you can see it, it's just going boop, it's just it's just rocket rock ricocheting and rocketing right off of that that mat. And so even if I'm gonna get in here and I'm hitting average sand wedges, like I'm gonna hit a little fifty yard pitch shot, I'm still only gonna come in here and just nip it and go through. I'm not ever trying to hit down. I'm my biggest problem my biggest issue is always what? From here, I want to swing up to wherever I'm swinging up to my finish. When I take my practice swing, I lock in my finish. If it's that wedge that I just hit here, if it's a full sand wedge, I'm locking it in right there. And my whole goal is to get in here, set up, and go. And, and, and go to my finish, swing up to my finish. So I think what you need is to, is to work on swinging up. Now, preloaded heavy right is with basically everything that are just normal shots. Naturally, if you're getting into if you're getting into a downhill lie, like the backyard here is a little bit downhill. If I get preloaded hit right here with the on a downhill lie like this, I'll bottom out behind here every time. You have to set up with the with the with the with the lie of the fairway. Same thing uh, uphill. 
uphill is, is no sweat, but, but if you do get too pre-heavy loaded heavy right, you, you, you probably will top it. So you got to find that right thing. That's why on, on side hill lies, uphill, downhill, and side hills, I always make practice swings to try to, to, try to make sure I can feel where is the lag trying to affect my, my balance and, and, and not allowing me to get to the golf ball. And I got to figure that out. And when I figure that out, the whole key is to figure out that I'm going to definitely get to hitting the ball with a little bit of follow through before I, the, the lie will push me out of the swing or, or push me out of balance, okay? So you have the only adjustment with preloaded heavy right comes from when you start getting off a of side hill lies. But for all normal golf shots that, 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 that I want to hit my normal golf shot, side hill lies, you, have to, you may have to make the adjustments. Plus, if I want to get into like maybe hitting the ball a little bit lower, I'm not going to get preloaded heavy right because that hits my normal flight and maybe higher than most cases. Then I might have to start leveling off if I want to hit the ball more on a, on a, on a lower trajectory. And maybe even get almost preloaded heavy ref left if I really want to hit a real low punch shot, knockdown. And naturally, anything with chipping and pitching where the ball's staying lower and things, that's definitely more towards your left side, left side that you will see in anything, any instruction about chipping and pitching. Okay, so to finish up here and re recap this real easy, once you get off the tee, you still want to keep swinging up just like you did on the tee and just practice that swinging up and get your timing down to nip that ball. We're just going to get in here and, and nip it every time and get to your finish. And you'll see that, that you'll have very shallow divots. You tear the grass out of the ground and you'll be hitting a more solid straight and therefore hitting all your clubs well and shooting those lower scores. That's it for the search for today and I'll be talking to you all again soon.